Animal welfare is a top priority for veal farmers of Ontario. As part of the training offered by VFO to help producers continually enhance their husbandry practices, this video will provide information on the proper handling and transportation of veal cattle. Be sure to follow all applicable laws when transporting cattle. I'm uh, Pascal Bouillet, I'm the dairy calf supply chain manager for the Grober Group. So the most important things to keep in mind when transporting calf is to realize that it could be a stressful event for an animal to be transported and it's our role to facilitate that uh, transportation and to minimize all the stress. The simplest way to reduce transport stress is to transport cattle as few times as possible and keep all trips as short as you can. Producers should aim to reduce the amount of time cattle are being transported by sourcing calves from local dairy farms or auctions and transporting finished cattle to nearby abattoirs when possible. As producers, you are responsible for ensuring your animals arrive safe and healthy at the intended destination. This includes ensuring those transporting animals are qualified, all animals are fit to be transported, and animals are handled humanely throughout the loading and transport. We will definitely not transport an animal that is sick, that is non-ambulatory, so an animal that doesn't get up on its own. When it came time for loading animals, we have to also take into account the fact an animal may not be in a condition that is suitable for transport, even if it was expected for him to be in condition. So we have to re-evaluate our plans each time we are loading animals. For more information, see Farm and Food Care's Should This Animal Be Loaded poster. If you're unsure if an animal is fit to ship, consult your herd veterinarian. Once you have determined all your cattle are fit to ship, ensure the trailer you are loading them onto was cleaned and disinfected after its last load. We're also dealing with a trucking companies that are trailer equipped with fan. It's an added feature, but it's very beneficial, especially when we're transporting large animals. In winter time, to keep calf warm during a transport, the number one issue is the bedding in the trailer. You, you want to have enough bedding and that will involve mostly straw in, in winter and we want a dry bedding. Then the next issue is no draft into the trailer, but that has to be balanced as well. You, you still need a certain amount of air intake. Weather conditions inside the trailer should be monitored throughout transportation. Ventilation should be designed so it can be adjusted from outside the trailer in response to changing weather conditions. I'm Paul Lutzer, we're at Lutzer Farms up at King Carden. I'm owner and operator here. One of the important things with the truck drivers is that they're not too quick to take corners and too quick to jump on the brakes when transporting them. It has to be done in a good amount of time that calves don't fall down. Before shipping cattle, ensure you have up-to-date records on all treatments and withdrawal times for every animal you are shipping. These records should be sent along with the cattle. For more information on keeping treatment records, please see the Verified Veal program. When we start to load the calves, we like to have everything dry so they're not slipping and falling. Depending on the weather, like this morning, it's kind of damp and so we put some sawdust down. In the winter time, the snow has to be removed out of there and the ice. A lot of things can be done with just sawdust. When it comes time to prepare a group of larger animals for shipping, obviously when we ship animals, we also go through the process of checking they are compliant with regulation. Like we do not ship animals that will have any kind of withdrawal. We also make sure they all are properly tagged and uh, they're going to be identified at their receiving point. So when we are talking about moving animals, it could be quite different depending on the type of animal we are talking about. We have basically three kinds of behavior, like the, the calves that are going to freeze and will uh, definitely does not want to move. Then you have the calves that is constantly walking toward you. And then the third one is the calves that is uh, running away from you. So as a producer and uh, having the, the task to, to move those animals, you have to keep those type of behavior in account and uh, act appropriately. Always the ultimate goal is to stay calm and to uh, provide the best assistance you can to every situation that's going to present itself. Take it slow and steady and let them move themselves around a little bit. So when we're also moving calves, we like to do it in small groups, not too big of a group that nothing can move anymore. They just seem to slip and fall too much otherwise. It's very important to have clear path in front of the animal and to have a good set of gates or panel in a way to, to channel the 
the flow of the livestock toward the, the trailer. It's very important not to uh, move large group of animals. Typically we'll do it three to five animals at a time and in order to be able to provide individual assistance if it's needed. Work with your transporter and herd veterinarian to create a transportation protocol that minimizes cattle stress. Remember to be patient. When you have an hour, it will take 10 minutes, but if you have 10 minutes, it will take an hour. Set aside plenty of time for loading and unloading cattle. Another challenge in regard to tracking livestock is to realize you require skills to move animals and among those skills you need to be very calm and very organized. Make sure all your equipment is uh, up and ready. Uh, all uh, the paperwork that need to be done has to be uh, also sorted out before. A little bit of preparation goes a long way when it comes to load calves. This video has been brought to you by the Veal Farmers of Ontario, your calf care partners. Veal farmers in Ontario are committed to the highest standard of animal care. For more information on transportation or management, go to www.ontarioveal.on.ca or www.calfcare.ca.